Here we go back again with another video and apparently Sunderland have agreed a deal with a new young 20 year old from Standard Liège. Fabrizio Romano has just tweeted that the young lad Romain Mundel is set to join Sunderland. The young midfielder started off his youth career at Spurs, played for the Spurs B team. I think it was several occasions, scored seven goals, made four assists, the young midfielder, then rejected a new contract at Spurs to go to Standard Liège on a four-year contract. And now after six games playing for Standard Liège, Sunderland are about to sign them. So that's being tweeted by Fabrizio Romano, who also said yesterday, Leo Lahaji from Leeds is on his way to Sunderland as well. Deal being done, the 20 year old left sided defender, left back, left centre, centre back. He started his career up at Celtic, but then he went to Ross County on loan, just like Ross Stewart did. And then he moved to Leeds. Now at Leeds, he only played three games, went on loan last season to Rotherham, helped Rotherham survive in the championship. So two young players coming in. Now, I've got a bit more information to do with Leo, and I'll put that up now. But what's your thoughts on the two young players? Now, I'll do a video later on if they come through with the shirts, holding the scarves up at the end of the day. I'm never 100% certain until we see them in a Sunderland shirt. But two more young players coming in. We, this is the way we're going with the model. At the end of the day, I wish them both all the best if they come to Sunderland. Happy days. If you enjoyed the video, this quick update, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you later on, hopefully, when they're announced properly outside the Academy of Light. While Leeds are sanctioning Sunderland's transfer for Leo Hadji and what a cat fans can expect of him, Leeds United view on Leo as Sunderland closing on the signing of the Norwegian defender. Sunderland are closing in on the signing of the Leeds defender Leo, but what can fans expect? The 20-year-old has made just one championship appearance for Leeds this season, following a loan spell from at Rotherham last term, and expected to sign a permanent deal with the Black Cats. Apparently, it's happened. To find out more, we caught up with Leeds reporter Joe Donoghue from the Yorkshire Evening Post to ask about the Norwegian defender. How has he done at Leeds? JD said Leo showed promise with under 21s and quickly became integrated in a fringe first team player, did well on loan at Rotherham last season, but hasn't really kicked on at Leeds. Opportunities have been fleeting and lots of managers turnover has meant constantly having to prove himself. He started the season playing the odd game at left back, but looked shaky and hasn't had a look in since. Well, what type of player is he? Leo's a left back, or back or left side at centre back, and has played both for the club and country. Typically, plays left centre back for Norway under 21s, left back for Leeds United in their under 21s. What are his strengths? Leo, his main strength is his physicality and can handle himself in duels, but 1v1 defending may be his weakness, particularly when playing left back. I've always thought his positioning could do with some work. When he's a young lad, he's only 20-year-old, he could improve, he can improve. Why hasn't he been able to get you know, back into Leeds' first team? He had an opportunity at the beginning of the season, with Junior Furpo injured and question marks over Sam Byron's fitness, but didn't perform great against Cardiff on the opening day of the season and was hooked off at half-time. Byron came on and pretty much made his position. His performance away to Salford in the Carabao Cup was also pretty unconvincing. So there we have it. Leo's coming to Sunderland. He's got a bit to prove, but he's a young lad, so why not? So there we have it. Leo got a bit to prove, but I'm sure we're being 20 years of age. He can learn, he can grow in stature and get better and get stronger. And hopefully with Sunderland, he can mature and become a really good player. We've got next Dennis Serkin in. He's been really good. You know, we had Alessi come in, really good. So we're bringing in players who haven't got much experience, but we seem to be developing them into decent players. So, you know, end of the day, we've got to trust in the process. So Leo and 
and Mundle. Hopefully, they'll do exactly the same. Right, we'll see you later. Got to go back to work now. Got to pay the bills somehow. <laughs>